What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answers. So anything you hear, anything you see in these end times, may you test the spirits, aka take the words and visuals back to pray with God as there are many Decepticons running around in these end times sent from the enemy. Had a strong, close, and personal relationship with God. Good, great, awesome. And if you're interested in that one-on-one -on -one Discord conversation, the information is pinned in the comment section and in the description down below. Good, great, awesome. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you guys the word that God gave me, and then I'm going to go over some things with you guys that I need to address and say just for the future to come. OK, just to let you guys know some things, remind or bring awareness to. All right. So the Lord says this. Many of you are waiting on some late delayed deliveries. I understand it is not your fault. Do not worry. I pick the day and the time for your breakthrough. I will make the conditions easier for your packages to arrive so we can kick things off. I said no more delay and I meant it. I will say to you to make sure you look up in advance how to set up your supplies. While you are waiting, research and take notes so that no time is wasted. Remember, it is you that I have been waiting on. <laughs> I am here to make sure everybody makes it to their destinations. Do not waste time in this season. The enemy's attacks are not permanent. Focus. Some of you are spending more time worried about messing up than you are preparing. End that now. I said, look in front of you for a reason. You are not a victim. You are my child. My children are warriors and blessings to the earth itself. I love you all, but I need you to start being more confident in me. Have faith. It will make your life a whole lot easier. Some of you are asking if I sent a video to you to show you something or how to do something or a reminder. <laughs> this is funny. He says, I absolutely did, my child. And he laughs. He says, some of you need 100 pieces of confirmation, but I will give it to you just to ease your nerves. Relax a bit with your father. He says, about that song you keep seeing or hearing, you know, looks like the puzzle pieces are connecting for you. Remember that nothing is impossible with me. Christmas in July, not the knockoff one, the one of your father. <laughs> OK. So that's the word, you know, I hope that is able to resonate and help people. Now, there are a few things I want to address with the upcoming things that we are looking and heading into. OK, so number one, when the transfer happens, I'm just keeping it a buck 50 with y'all. If something pops off, I'm handling my business because I've also been waiting. Now, I may be a messenger, but I also am a human that has been through spiritual warfare and waiting on my breakthrough as well, you know, while trying to help other people. So if something does happen and, you know, it's a chain effect that begins to happen, I may end up canceling calls on people ahead of time. So I'm just going to let you know that right now. Ain't no way I'm going to be out here with these people going crazy, losing their funds. And ain't no way I'm going to be distracted. Um when it comes to my blessings and breakthrough and handling how to secure my stuff. OK, so I'm just letting you know. Don't be surprised if that happens. OK. I hope you all understand that. Number two, when it comes to the messages and the emails and the comments. OK, I know a lot of people have questions. I know a lot of people are trying to figure things out. OK, so just make sure that you always go to prayer with God, no matter where you stand with him in your relationship, because I don't know everything. All right. Research with God on your own if need be. There are wallets and things I don't have I've never used before, so I couldn't possibly, you know, tell you about it. So that's something that you have to work on with God. All right. I don't have all the answers. So. I know when the time comes, there's probably going to be a lot of emails, a lot of comments, a lot of this, a lot of that. 
But like I said, I'm going to be handling my business. There are a lot of guides on this stuff. All the wallets, the exchanges, how to move from this to that. God has led me to help y'all out a lot and do a lot of different guides in every which way. <laughs> so they're here. So I hope y'all understand that. That's why these guides will be here to help you. Because I'm going to be real. I'm going to be taking a resting period. I'm going to get myself together. Um, I only know. So for people that ask me different questions on when and how and all this stuff, you know, what's going to happen first, I couldn't tell you. You know, I just know that in order for us to increase, people have to decrease. So some way people are going to have to decrease. And he's given us the bits and pieces, you know, in these videos. So I only know as much as God gives me in the messages or I'm only going to say what God has ordered me to say. There are things that the Lord has personally told me that I'm not allowed to say. OK, I'm just not. So I have to respect that. I have to stay in order. Um, so when it comes to what I'm invested in, I will not be giving out that information. You know, that's my personal information with my blessings in it. So I know a lot of people aren't as guarded. I don't want the enemy getting that from anybody when I've guarded it myself, you know, so I won't be sharing that. So I hope you all understand that's personal uh, information for me, what I'm in. That's me and God's business. And the reason why a lot of times I'm not sharing all the stuff I'm in is because people take it upon themselves because I hear from the Lord. They're going to try to do it, too, instead of seeking him themselves. So I'm not going to even put myself in that position with people. All right. I hope you all understand that. Um, I really do. Like permission, permission, permission. It is not my job to advise your finances. I don't know everybody's situations. That's for God to help you with. All right. And that's why you got to practice that personal relationship with him. I'm not a financial advisor. All right. So don't be worrying about, you know, how all this is going to happen, this and that, you know, just worry about being in position and being ready and knowing how to secure your funds. OK, God is in control and this is his strategy. He knows what he's doing. So I hope this makes sense to you guys. I'm having to say this to people because sometimes. People, I think people forget that you are also a human being, even though you have a spiritual gift. In relationship with God I am still human so it's not my plan it's God's plan so just for the future questions and the future things to come like I'm not gonna have all the answers for y'all I'm not I'm not gonna try to act like I am so make sure you take it back to the Lord everything you hear from anyone and really get and build that relationship with the Lord so you can know how he's communicating with you to receive. That's very important. You know, don't just depend on the person to relay a message to you and think, OK, this is how it's going to be forever. No, you've got to learn how your spiritual gifts work. OK. When you upgrade, you got to learn how to upgrade. You got to learn how to guard yourself. All right. It was a difficult process, but. Everybody can do it. You just got to be patient with yourself because God is patient with you. All right. And one more thing I do want to say, I think I said this a while ago, but understand some people have the mindset when it comes to, you know, gifts, especially people who are hearing from the Lord, like they they think that the person is going to know everything about them. And that's not how it works. OK, it's just that's just not how it works. God is not going to disrespect your secret place with him. You know, I'm, so people aren't going to know everything about your life unless you have opened your mouth to people. About everything about your life, you know, and you opened your mouth to the enemy. About certain things, you know, so you got to be really careful doing that. Um, so God will only give you. That's why the messages are the way that they are strategic when God gives them out and they're very brief because he doesn't want to expose things to the enemy. So you got to learn how to move that way. OK, so I also wanted to make that clear because I think some people get kind of the wrong idea 
with the gift and just yeah i hope y'all understand what i'm saying but anyway yes peace and blessings and i will catch y'all in the next one